All right, here with head coach John Boss of Nottoway Valley, West Central Valley. Coach, pretty emotional 2-1 loss there to Beckman Catholic, but it was just a fantastic game all around. Just just give your thoughts on that one. Yeah, I, I mean, so ultimately it was a great game both ways. So we both attacked really well and we both defended really well. Um, and it was a close game the whole time. We got unlucky with an own goal there in the first half. But outside of that, our kids battled the entire time and made that a really good game. Um, so in general, I'm just really happy for our kids. It sucks to lose, obviously, but uh, ultimately I walked away super happy because our kids battled that whole time. When you when you when I talked to you last week, you talked about just working hard. Yeah. Hard work was your guys' kind of mantra. It sure kind of seemed like that all the way yeah. up until the final second today. Can you just kind of give your thoughts on whether or not you guys you thought you kind of executed that? Yeah, for sure. So um, ultimately, yeah. Like sh the short answer is just yes. So we all we talk about is working hard. So that's kind of an expectation for us for anyone that wants to play is we make it an expectation for everyone that you have to work hard. So that way you can't say, oh, well, I work harder than you. Well, we all work hard, um, and it shows when our kids come in from the bench and they continue to work just as hard as that starting group. So, I mean, yeah, we worked really hard the whole game and that's why our season's been so successful is the amount of hard work that our kids put in from March all the way up until now. Talk about your keeper, Nate Gerling. He had a pretty incredible day. I, I had uh, Beckman Catholic for 14 shots on yep. goal. He only let really one pass because yeah. the one was an own goal. Just yeah. talk about him and his performance today. Yeah, I, I mean, Nate's been amazing. Um, so it's, you know, it's just another thing for him is, you know, we expect him to be able to make a lot of saves. And it just goes to show you, I mean, that kid puts a lot of hard work in and practice. And that way it shows during games. So when we get challenged like this, you know, Beckman had a lot of, pretty good looks a lot of them were from deep but they had a lot of pretty good looks and he was up to the challenge every single time um, and the one that he did let go by was an absolute hit from that kid so there's not much we can do about that sometimes hits are better than our saves so uh, but the kid works so hard and I'm super happy for him and I'm happy we get him back for two more years talk about uh, Mitch Dixon he went down in the first half he comes yeah. back in in the second half he records an assist just talk about his kind of resilience and what the message was to him at halftime when he was going yeah. back into the game. So uh, first off, Mitch is an incredible kid. So not only is he a captain for us, he's the one who sets the tone for us, whether that's in practice, whether that's in games. They get together off the field. That I mean, they were doing relay races in a river not long after one of our games. Uh, you know, so he's kind of the guy that we look to just to be in charge. So for him to go back in after getting hurt, I mean, it was just kind of a knock on his knee. It was a pretty deep bruise, I think. Um, but for him to go back in and continue to play that whole game he didn't come out in the second half that just shows you the type of kid that he is um and we're we're really gonna miss that attitude next year of just his non-stop go uh and not letting anyone through slip through the cracks he held everyone really accountable so it'll be really tough to replace that next year but i mean mitch is a great kid so i'm really happy for his year you talk about missing Mitch next year, but I mean, you guys have a lot of young talent on this mm -hmm. team. Uh, this was your first trip to state since 2014. Yeah. How do you build on this experience moving forward? Yeah, so the, you know, the message right here that we we're talking about is just that uh, for the, anyone that's returning is they now know what it looks like. We had great leadership this year. We had seven seniors and they were all phenomenal. So they all have seen what good leadership looks like and they know what hard work we need to do to get back to this place. So it's really good. I mean, our sophomore class is like 10 to 12 kids or something like that. So for them to see it from such a great group of people, I, I can't ask anything else from that. So where we go is we just tell them, you know what it looks like. How do we get that same work ethic throughout the entire offseason all the way back up until March again? All right. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much.